Hello everyone, welcome to yet another Level Up series. In this series, I try to take one or two problems each day and these are thought-provoking questions wherein we will be learning a lot of concepts and through this series, you will definitely master mechanics and physics as well. So I hope you are liking the series. If you are liking the series, give me a thumbs up, subscribe the channel and share it with as many friends as possible. Okay, so in this interesting problem, we have a gym ball which is kept in the garden and this gym ball, uh, there is an insect near it which wants to jump the gym ball. Now I am assuming this gym ball to be spherical in nature and we have to find a minimum take off speed. So let's first draw the picture as we do in physics and try to analyze what is happening and what we have to do. Okay, so let's take this gym ball in a garden and there is this insect which wants to jump. Okay, so let me just and let me just take the insect which wants to jump. Now the insect can jump like this. The insect can jump anyway. So when insect will try to cross this, it will make a parabola because we, we are assuming no air resistance. And whenever insect will jump with some velocity at an angle, it will definitely have um, jump in the parabola direction if he wants to jump the other side of this gym ball of radius r. Now the question given is we have to find the minimum takeoff. Now how will the minimum takeoff happen when this insect which is lying over here just grazes this right so what will happen is it just grazes this and then comes on the other side grazing it again at the same position right uh, by symmetry so basically when it just grazes it matlab just touches this and crosses the other side of it okay so that is the case over here it just crosses at this point just uh, touches it at this point of uh, contact and when returning it will touch at this point of contact so this is the first step that you have to think so this is step one and in physics it is very in uh, intriguing to understand all these steps key exactly how to approach a problem so clearly obviously you will not assume a circle uh, as the uh, range of this projectile because if let's say if it jumps from here it will be vertical in nature and it will come back at this position so a particle to jump from the ground it will actually have to graze this at two points for minimum takeoff so that was the first point now once it grazes the second point is from the center you can see that this is the radius and this will make a perpendicular or 90 degree with the radius because the velocity at this point or tangential velocity at this point is perpendicular to the radius because it is grazing at this point so now from geometry you can see that this is some angle alpha and the same angle alpha is over here okay and this is also radius r so how will i think about this problem so this is velocity u and this is some velocity v and it is making an angle alpha so this is given in the problem so although this is not explicitly given in the problem but you have to assume because it is asked uh, minimum takeoff velocity and minimum takeoff velocity means it has given you some information. So now uh, to find this, there are few things. Theta, alpha, you have to eliminate. What is given to you is R and you have to find this minimum U. Okay. So first step is because it has changed its position. So I can apply either kinetic energy or you can also apply V square minus U square is equal to v square minus u square is equal to 2 into a into s and clearly if you apply this um, and this only leads to the change in kinetic energy equation so change in kinetic energy equation is that whatever energy is at this particular position uh, so work done by mg you can simply say and this leads to change in uh, kinetic energy work done by mg is equal to change in kinetic energy okay so work done by mg is uh, mg is acting downwards the displacement is having upwards so it will be equal to minus mg h and in this case h is r 1 plus cos of alpha which is this height this is r cos alpha 
and plus r is the maximum height gained by this particle and change in kinetic energy is equal to half m v square minus half m u square and from here i will get m m gets cancelled there is no significance of mass and clearly you can see that uh, v square or u square you can because we have to find u so we will say u square is equal to v square plus 2 gr 1 plus cos of alpha okay so this is what one equation we have got now obviously this equation is in alpha and we have to and clearly you can see that this u is dependent on v and alpha and if i substitute v if i somehow find some relationship for v in terms of alpha then we can clearly clearly differentiate u with respect to alpha to get the minimum velocity okay so the this was the second step now once you have actually analyzed this the third step is clearly to find the relationship between v and alpha if we are able to eliminate this v because this is an unknown and if we are able to write something in terms of alpha clearly we can differentiate this the whole thing will become a function of alpha and we can differentiate u with respect to alpha and get the answer so that is how we need to approach a problem that is how we need to think in physics and therefore we'll move to step 3 now step 3 says okay now let's look at this projectile when i look at this particular projectile motion over here which is with some velocity and some alpha and what is given to you is this is given to you r sin alpha is given to you this particular thing so i can actually find this r sin alpha and some relationship between this um so how x will be equal to x will be equal to v sin alpha and what is x this is x is equal to v sin alpha into let's say some time t so it takes some time t to reach to the maximum height and therefore at maximum height i can say that x sin alpha is equal to v sin alpha into t okay so this is clearly giving me some relationship between and x is what x is r sin alpha clearly you know that right so i will write down this as uh, and sorry here it is not v sin alpha it is v cos alpha t because i am talking about the horizontal component of this velocity so r sin alpha is equal to v cos alpha into t but again we have introduced another variable t so we have to eliminate this t now how to eliminate t clearly the vertical component of the velocity at the top is equal to 0 and if i want to find out that because this is the time when the particle reaches to the maximum height and i can clearly say that vy is equal to for this initial uy minus g into same time t it will reach the vertical height where vertical height is equal to 0 because in projectile the vertical height uh, so vertical velocity is equal to 0 at the top position so now i will say 0 is equal to what is vy uh, uy it is v sin alpha that is uy minus g into time t and therefore what i will get is this time is equal to v sin alpha upon g and from here because i have got this time i will substitute there and i will get r sin alpha is equal to v cos alpha into v sin alpha upon g and uh, i will get and we could have applied directly range formula also so obviously here you can see we could have applied the range formula and v square i can get as i can get v square as v square will be equal to r into g upon cos of alpha so clearly i got v as a function of alpha 
and now I think the question becomes easy peasy lemon squeezy because now what I can do is what I will do is I will substitute it okay so u square is equal to rg upon cos alpha okay plus 2rg 1 plus cos alpha and clearly u becomes a function of r is given to you it's constant r is constant g is constant and clearly u becomes a function of alpha now when u becomes so i can say here that u is a function of alpha and you can differentiate u to get you can use mathematical equation as well because uh, arithmetic mean geometric mean you can use those things as well but uh, most of the time if we don't remember that uh, I can simply differentiate it to u du by d alpha will be equal to uh, here it will be e rg and I will say rg is constant and I will say uh, secant alpha secant alpha differentiation is secant alpha tan alpha and plus 2 differentiation of 2 is 0 so I will just eliminate this 2 and then 2 cos alpha so 2 into cos alpha differentiation is uh, minus of sine alpha and therefore and this will be equal to 0 from here what I will get is uh, uh, let's see 1 by cos alpha into tan alpha is sine alpha by cos alpha and which is equal to 2 of sine alpha and sine alpha sine alpha gets cancelled and therefore I will get cos square alpha is equal to 1 by 2 and from here I will get cos of alpha is equal to 1 by root 2. So cos alpha once I have got which means alpha is equal to 45 degrees and once alpha is equal to 45 degree uh, clearly you can get uh, this theta as well um, and you can get the minimum velocity because this is the minimum velocity which is required you can up, uh, substitute it and you will get the answer because you will get uh, v square in terms of alpha you will get al uh, cos alpha value and therefore you can get the value of u okay so you try it on your own and share me the answer but this is an interesting problem and you clearly this 45 degrees tells me that this question this particular problem can be solved in even multiple ways and if you guys have any interesting solution for this particular problem do share it with me i would love to uh, highlight it your, with your name and share it uh, with the world right so definitely clearly shows me that there can be a geometrical solution very unique solution to this problem because it tells me that for this insect to cross this circle or spherical shape object there has to be symmetry and this alpha has to be 45 degree so logically um, uh, there are solutions and i clearly i am shouting out loud i can clearly see that there is a solution coming out of it so please share it at v underscore wap and i will happy to um, take your name um, so i hope if you are enjoying this uh, please give me a thumbs up share it with as many friends as possible and keep looking out for this space for daily interesting problems on physics and I know physics is love physics clearly is something which um, intrigues you physics is something all around you and if you start loving physics if you start loving the nature if you start observing the nature you will fall in love with physics and that is my role to do uh, over here so with a problem every day I'm trying to invoke that thought process in you so that you are well prepared for any competitive exam like Olympiads or Indian exams like JE main JE advanced uh, exams but mostly towards olympiad so all the very best with your preparation um, thank you for watching this and sharing this with as many friends as possible bye bye see you in next class